Yo, what's good everybody, man? It's your boy Kobe and uh Mix Shit. I know our outfit is looking kinda clean, you know what I'm saying? I had to make a couple adjustments, you know what I'm saying? But this is the Dark Axe uniform. Um the brand that we went with on uh Hogwarts was uh Slytherin. So Slytherin is like kinda like basically Slytherin, you remember um off of Harry Potter that guy, like that snail looking dude, the bad guy that was fighting Harry Harry Potter. That's basically what his brand is, Slytherin, but I did not know that, but it's all good, man. You know, I want to be evil, but I want to be good at the same time. Because the evil fits always look good, because that's going to be throwing enemies, you know what I'm saying? Off guard, man, they're going to be thinking, oh, you got you, you, you with me. No, I'm not with you, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with y'all uniforms, but I am just want to go ahead and kill y'all, you know what I'm saying? Go yeah. crazy and throw y'all off track. But anyway, man, this is episode number 12. I hope you guys enjoy it. And without further ado, let's do what it do and go to flying class. Who do you think will fall from their broom first? Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, yeah, tell me if that's supposed to be Harry Potter, bro. Everyone, please welcome Looks our like student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. I do look so fire, bro. Up. <laughs> Dude, look fire as hell. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The Wish I had my own are school room. property. I want them returned <laughs> in one piece. This is brilliant. This shit kind of clean. I hope we can go faster. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Ha! Good. I hope we can race on with brooms and stuff. That should be kind of clean. Racing on brooms. This thing is actually pretty fast, Never, too. The old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Damn, this broom fast as hell. That Everett dude is right in front of us. He looked just like Harry Potter, bro. They said we had to get a person to look like him if you're playing the Harry Potter game. Might not be Harry himself, but you still gotta well, find somebody that looks just like him. Resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <laughs> These things are actually pretty fast. But yeah, man, I ain't gonna lie, like Hogwarts, this is one of the games that I actually enjoy. It's something different, you know what I'm saying? It's definitely something that's different. It's not the same exact thing as these other games, man. And most of these games that be good nowadays be the single player games. 
my stream later in the night though. I'm thinking about it in my stream. I say, I watched you fly Everett through those rings. Clopton. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? <laughs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. Call me a Slytherin. See, Slytherin be doing bad shit. Slytherins do bad shit. Now? Might as well do it. Flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Love. About to get caught in the bad head. isn't having tea by the window today. <laughs> nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows huh. peek out. A bit claustrophobic huh? for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part here, but there's the famous bridge. All the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. Yeah, this is crazy. One hell of a view. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. Damn, but this is moving fast as hell. This concludes our tour. How is he moving so fast, bro? Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. I want to get an extra bit of practice in. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. Perhaps, but we did get in trouble and Kagawa could hold it against us. Rotten luck, that. I didn't think she'd see us. But it's no matter. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then? If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwich is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Yeah, I'm flying class, so I ain't gonna lie, this was pretty dope. This was pretty dope. Halfway to level 11, currently a level 10. Got a total of 260 XP right there. Um, so yeah, um, Everett was basically saying go to Hogsmeade and meet up with somebody if I want to buy her, bro. Forgotten about our library venture. Got Sebastian. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Good day. I required assistance with a delivery. I thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. 
trying to please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can i have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies away from prying eyes and distractions the dedalian keys are back aren't they brilliant hold on bro so he said go to hives me if i wanted to buy a broom gotta meet up Found it, found it, found it, found it. So we gotta go over there. I'm gonna spawn over here. Finally found it. We are about to go buy ourselves a broom. Hopefully we have enough chips, you know what I'm saying? Enough coins. If we don't, shit, we just gonna have to keep playing it and find some extra it's coins. more cozy than Hogsmeade. Hopefully they got what I'm looking for. I'm really praying that they do. Let's run over there real quick. 36 meters away. And we're buying a broom. We are buying a broom. Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible, it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently, criminals are overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the yew one's darker reputation. Then you add the Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. All right, so we're about to buy our first today? broom. 600. We got a couple of brooms that we can get. Can we like preview the room? Yeah, I want to do it. That item is of the highest quality. These rooms is kind of clean. I feel like I don't want no basic room though. I would say it's between this one. That item is of the highest quality. But this room seems to got a light on it. That's kind of clean. More of a stylish broom. Item is it, the highest it says quality. a comfortable and speedy broom with a unique woven design. Yeah, we just get this one. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Probably go come back and buy this broom later. That item is of the highest quality. That was clean though. Ooh, this one kind of fire too. We don't have enough for this one, but that look kind of clean. I want to do some flying around real quick, man. By. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? How long have you had a passion for brooms? 
Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match, seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do, oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spin witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the Cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. But... Dang, in a lot of areas they don't let you fly, that's ah, stupid. I can't help but admire, Mr. We got this big ass map it. and they act like we can't fly all over the place. What are we looking for today? Oh yeah, my fault, my fault, bro. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Just in this chest real quick. Got some goggles. Okay. But anyway, that is going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. Like I said, again, I appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing me. This was episode number 12, and we have more episodes on the way. With all that being said, man, it's your boy Kobe, and I'm going to see y'all boys, and I'll see y'all boys. Peace. Sheesh.